What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel today. Woo -woo. Yeah, oh we got the full gang right here. I think we got the cutest crew <laughs> in the kitchen today. Heck yeah. Not only what up, buddy people? We got Mr. Brixie. We got Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody. Finn's got a new haircut. Check it out, baby. You guys, Finn just got back from the groomer about an hour ago. How cute does he yeah, look? Yeah, yeah. We went in between this time, so mm. when this fur gets wet, it'll be curly again. But now you can see Jonathan always does such a good job with him. And then this morning, you guys, we started off with a little bit of lunch. I went to a new place called yeah. the Sandbar Grill. guys oh my gosh so the lady recommended the fish tacos I think this is mahi and Jerry got sweet potato fries mm -hmm. I got onion rings Brett got the same and onion rings Maddie got a turkey wrap and sweet potato fries we got a grilled cheese coming it so yeah, looks she pretty good this so quickly I'm curious to see how it tastes yeah she orders a coconut shrimp and a fried calamari that looks so good and the food was okay. The location was absolutely beautiful. It's out on the water here. It's like a five minute drive from our house. It's at a hotel. It's literally on the beach. Like we looked out onto the ocean. It was beautiful. The food is definitely a really cool ambience. Yes, and then we came back and Jared and Brett needed to do a little bit of work. And Maddie and I got to just hang out. Just the two of us. Heck yeah, girl time. We got to lay out up in the pool hammock, which was so fun. So it's just been kind of just a chill day. It's been awesome. You may see some things out on the counter. We are cooking Ooh, in the kitchen. Oh yeah. We talked about this recipe a while ago. We did not show it, but yes. this is a recipe I learned from Half Baked Harvest. You want me to hold it? Oh, oh yeah. That is so cute. What's up, handsome are you boy? Kidding? Look how cute Bert's little outfit <laughs> with palm trees on it. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> also, this little one has been saying Jared's name. Yeah, yeah. Can you give me nuts? Yeah. yeah! They call him nuts, like giving you like a knuckles. They call it nuts, and he comes up with That is cool. Nuts. Finn's already in the position right now to get some cooking. So you guys, this recipe <laughs> I learned from Half Harvest. I made this a couple good, weeks ago. Good job, dude. You just stay there. <laughs> so this recipe, you guys, I made a couple weeks ago, and Jared said it may be one of the best meals he's ever eaten. This is by far the best thing I've ever had, so definitely <laughs> cook this. <laughs> different taste but I don't want to set expectations too high but this is an awesome awesome recipe so awesome is an understatement this is deliciously so it's amazing a pasta and we mix it with basil and lemon and then we do a Cajun shrimp sauce to go over it and it is so Thank so good yes. you can also make this with chicken as well we're doing chicken and shrimp mm. chicken and shrimp lovers in the yes. house tonight so anyways I'm gonna get things prepped I'm gonna chop some things up and then I'll kind of show you step by step how to make it. First thing, I'm bringing a pot of water to a boil and then I'm gonna drop my orzo in there. And I just put in, these are fresh shrimp, so they're not previously cooked. And I put on some Cajun seasoning and then just a little bit of olive oil and I'm just cooking these guys. With shrimp, you gotta watch them so closely because the minute they turn pink all the way through, you take them off the heat. So you don't wanna overcook them. So right before these are done, I'm gonna add in a couple tablespoons of butter and then remove them from the heat and then I'll show you how we make the rest of the pasta. Put them aside in a bowl. How delicious. Mm -hmm. Do these like this is gonna take everything in me not to just eat all of these right now, but I will try and not. Then I dropped the orzo pasta, so that is cooking right now. And then I just chopped up two red bell peppers. I will put a link for this recipe down below, so with measurements and everything, so don't worry about that right now. You can check out the link for that. But now I'm gonna cook the bell peppers in some garlic and some thyme, add a little more olive oil to the pan, and then I will show you what we did. So I have our red bell peppers, 
they are just about done. It smells so good, you guys. I have garlic and the thyme in there. I didn't have fresh, so I just used dried, but feel free. The recipe does say fresh, but we've made this before. Dry didn't taste awesome. Now I'm gonna deglaze it with a little bit of chicken stock. Mm. You can use white wine. I don't have that either, so I'm just using chicken stock. It does pretty much the same thing. Putting that in there, and then I'm gonna add half a cup of either whole milk or heavy cream, and then the Parmesan cheese, and this is gonna mm. get so creamy and delicious. Our orzo's almost done, and then I'll show you what we put on that. I think we got the cutest little table setters. <laughs> Brix is taking out the, oh, we grabbed one, yep. Look, Uncle Jared, Brix is bringing you oh, the dude, table. thank you. Oh, oh that's goodness. so nice. Hey, bro. Go get this one to Uncle Jared. Oh, my goodness, you guys, how cute is he? Thank you. Oh, good oh, job. You are so big. And more? Oh you guys, we're gonna eat outside wow. tonight because it's such a pretty Ooh. night. One more. <laughs> good job, Briggs. Thank you. Oh. How big. Brixton. That was so nice. Dude, thank you for all your help. You are such a good helper. Oh, you wanna hold the camera? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and more. You look, you wanna see yourself? Who's that? Eat that big hey. so I just drained the orzo. Now I'm gonna add in, I'm using avocado oil. You can use olive oil, whatever you have. I'm gonna drizzle this in. And then here's where it gets so good. You're gonna put in a bunch of fresh basil. I just chopped this up, like half a cup. Look at that, oh my gosh. Right into there and then half or a full lemon. I usually do a full lemon. Look at this, with the basil and the lemon right on there. Oh my gosh, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision. It smells so good in here. It smells so good. Who's excited? Are you excited to eat, buddy? Yeah. Who's excited? Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. On and it's coming to a boil so it's getting all melty. Now I'm gonna add two more teaspoons of Cajun seasoning. Mm -hmm. Now if you don't love spice, you don't have to add that much, but we love it. So mm -hmm. putting that in there. And then once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and add the shrimp back in. I'm gonna put some aside for some chicken as well. Ooh. And then we serve it over the orzo. I also love just a simple arugula salad with it. Even mixing it in with this is kind of good too. We did that last time and absolutely mm -hmm. love it. So it's almost done, you guys. Oh, we are getting hungry. Dog. Let me Look show you this. how we plate this up. We got the lemon oh. basil orzo right here. It smells mm -hmm. so good. A little side of lemon juice and oil, salt and pepper. This seriously looks so good, you guys. And then you put over the shrimp mixture Ooh. with some of the sauce. Hot dog. I leave the that. tails on just because it looks pretty, but you can take them off, obviously. Guys, it does have a little kick, so. I'm telling you guys right now, if you guys like food with a little bit of kick, definitely make this. It is so freaking good. Bone appetit, <laughs> and then I do have a chicken version right here, too. I grilled yes. a little chicken, put that in the sauce. This is my recipe, but I did tweak it a little bit. Tweak it, you know, that's what recipes are for. Just yeah. Tweaking it, can you <laughs> And then I am doing some garlic bread. That's almost done too on the side. Yummy. Bon appetit. Heck yeah. Up with dinner and it was delicious as always. Brittany always knocks it out of the park. I mean, that, how can you go wrong with that recipe? That it's is, so good. So good. We got a little scooter rider right Ooh, here. Oh yeah. We're Balancing. Going on this scooter ride. <laughs> so Brittany's actually gonna hang back here, and the three of us are gonna go on a scooter ride right now oh. at sunset. So the sun is just barely starting to set over here. So we're hoping we can catch a glimpse of it as we were riding on the scooters. Oh, this guy just loves getting his hair combed, oh huh, dude? Is Oh, does that feel so good? I wish you could go on a scooter with oh, us, but instead we have to be with this guy. 
Lame. Video yet. Oh, it's been so nice. I've been working. <laughs> Reality check, you know. Oh my god. It's all fun and games, so you have to work. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you go check it out. We went to Peanut Island, had the most amazing day snorkeling, and Jared and Brett went off for about an hour. You. Daddy and I were so worried. We did not know where they went. We could not see them because they went around the island. And they were yeah. Over the they seriously were like considering going and looking and like maybe calling the Coast Guard. So they ended up, they were fine. They were mm. having fun. Speaking of scooters, a lot of you guys have asked us about the difference between these two. And this one right here is the High Boy KS4, I believe. And then this one, I think, is the High Boy S2R. Both of them are really, really great scooters. This one costs a little bit more because it's a teeny bit better. This one has 25 miles of range and can go up to 19 miles an hour. I believe this one can also go 19 miles an hour, but only has about 20 miles of range. The one vantage point of this one is that you can actually remove the battery, take it out, and replace it with another fully charged battery. Both of them can be controlled by an app, which is really nice. This one actually has more functionality and a much bigger LED screen as you guys can see right here. They both have headlights and can both fold down which makes them really portable which I absolutely love. Anyways I'll put both of these down in the description below for you guys to go check out if you want but yeah we love both of them. How did you like that scooter ride, dude? Didn't fall. Didn't fall. Better than paddleboarding. Booyah. And it was sick. We got to see like these crazy cool houses on the beach. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Oh, Just crazy. screaming, having so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie unfortunately could not join us this time. She was putting bricks down. Tomorrow you're coming. Yeah. Finn's just been hanging out here in the minky, Got just loving life. Dinners. Yeah. He's always so snuggly right after he gets his haircut. He it's a long day for him. Yeah. So traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> and then Britt, she made a delicious meal. I did, you guys. And it's just been sitting here now. Yeah. Not feeling so hot. So a lot of you guys have left some really nice messages about Brit. I know, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm feeling much better when it comes to like my cold symptoms, but unfortunately, yeah. I cankers now. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Brittany now has cankers on all if areas of her mouth. I've been this for a while. I get cankers sometimes when I get sick or like under stress a lot. If you follow us for a while, you remember like I've got my blood tested, like I'd have to go to the dentist tons of times just to like try and figure out why I would get them. And they just determined it was from like either like a traumatic dental thing I had sometime and now I get them mm -hmm. or and stress. Yeah. So, I'm just stressing you out. <laughs> yeah. So with these guys here, it's just been, <laughs> don't make me laugh. And when I talk and eat, it's just so painful. Yeah. So my medicine has worn off, so I need to take some more medicine. Well, speaking of medicine, a lot of you guys recommended that we get lysine and use this. Because Brittany has been using this. Because of you, my cankers that I have for like months and months went away because when I started taking this, and I haven't taken it in probably almost a year because I haven't had any, yeah. which has been amazing. But ever since I started not feeling well, these came up mm -hmm. with it. So I'm back on the lysine. Yep. Time hoping that these help them heal fast and prevent more from coming. I it's know. Not it's all. not fun at all. Can you give Jared some tinker so he can't talk? <laughs> 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 it's been really hard because I make Brittany laugh all the time. <laughs> so she's pretty much just crying all day. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you guys, I think so we're... <laughs> Brittany needs to heal, as you guys know. Yes, I don't want to be like this for our trip, which is in a day. So. <laughs> Gotta get better. So if you guys have any other tips on cankers, definitely let us know down below. We desperately need them. But until then, you guys, we love you and we'll see you later. Bye!